back to my channel. Today is another drive with Juliana. I'm with an actual guest this time, besides my sister, it's Madeline. Confetti. Madeline had a topic to start off with. This is a debate. So I want to talk about where you should put rings on your fingers. I like my ring fingers. Like I like having rings on my ring fingers. I kind of like it on the middle, but like I don't have any rings right now that fit I my middle finger. I don't buy rings like besides Pandora. Pandora. I don't know. I just get them from Pandora. I don't have any nice rings. So I feel like people probably think I'm married because one kind of looks like a band. Are you supposed to? They're like a superstition. They say it's like, it. but like my mom says it's fine. You can wear whatever you want. Like who cares what people think? Like yeah. that's a thing. But I want to know where you guys wear your rings because if it's if you think it's okay to wear on your ring finger, I feel like people when I work too and I'm on cash and I'm like cash people because this looks like a wedding band yeah it does right but you don't have an engagement ring on but I guess no. some people so just wear their wedding, wedding bands like, yeah so oh my gosh we almost hit the curb I used to never wear rings or any jewelry but now I'm kind of like getting into wearing rings and I, I love the look of rings though I but you need like a high quality ring for it to look nice yeah for sure. I have one ring from Quebec that I bought me my mom and my sister all matching one I just never wear it because I feel like it needs to be layered I don't have any pieces to layer it with, with and it's silver and I like never wear silver jewelry yeah so I always have my gold earrings I to love chain gold. on I'm so sick of buying jewelry for 21 because you it, buy it you wear it once and then it's it. rusted and it gets me so mad there was this one necklace i got and i think it was from our den and a nice gold color and two times after wearing it it's like copper yeah can you wear gold and silver together like if i'm wearing a gold rings know. can i wear gold earrings like that's what I'm, yeah, well, i yeah i mean silver rings, rings and then gold rings earrings. and earrings i don't care about it's more like necklace and yeah. earrings i care about because okay. people are gonna be looking at them because they're right beside each other but i'm pretty sure people do it like if you think about it, your gold tends to have diamonds and diamonds are like silver and yeah, I feel like it's true. okay. Like, cause like I have my gold hoops and I'm like, can I wear my silver rings? Call them what you think. If you watched one of my driving with Juliana's, I think it's titled Panda Conspiracy Theory or something like that. I don't believe pandas are real animals. And my theory just got like proven. In Japan, they're hiring people to dress up as pandas and sleep beside the pandas so they don't get lonely. So you're telling me you're gonna go to the zoo and you're gonna be looking at these pandas like oh look how cute those pandas are but in reality one of them is dressed as a panda it's a human in a costume dressed as a panda so you're telling me my conspiracy theory isn't true they're probably all just humans as dressed as pandas because aren't pandas extinct like no, they probably existed not. at one point but they're now they're obviously real like, yeah but you're going to that zoo thinking you're looking at two pandas and in reality one of them is a human dressed as a panda you can probably tell no i don't think so pandas look like they're in costumes <laughs> No, I don't. How funny is that? You go to the zoo. Oh, look at those pandas. Are. Oh, awkward. Only one of them is real. But yeah, we picked up someone. Amria, head in the frame. Amria's in the car, but she's hiding. I need a coffee. Yeah, we're going to get sleep. iced coffee. The Hortons are McDonald's. McDonald's are cheaper and they taste better. Coffee makes me tired. Oh my gosh, the camera. Oh shit. You're supposed to be watching it, Madeline. What are you here for? Just to look pretty. What's the funniest thing we've ever done together? We do a lot of stupid weird shit. We were weird teenagers, man. We were really weird. We stood inside outside of um, the One Direction yeah, store. We went to the, okay, the, the store. We at left at the like morning. three o'clock in the morning to go to this One Direction store. A store. And, the, and there was already a lineup, like a hundred people, if anything more. So people were sleeping overnight. Like that's yeah. insane. Like I've never, I would never sleep overnight. Line and it opened at what time? Like ten. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we so were in line stupid. for so long. We had no food. It was freezing cold. I was in shorts. I almost died of hypothermia. And then we went to Janoskians. Oh yeah. And then the next Who day. Who the heck is that? Yeah, but. That was like such a fun concert. Yeah, was, and then yeah. the next day we went to Taylor Swift. We went to that was, two concerts that was a in a crazy row. weekend. And we like my dad was like supposed to pick us up. We had no idea where to go. And we turned down this alley and oh, there's yeah, like a bike this. game there. Yeah. And we thought we were gonna die. Oh, do you guys want to hear a funny story from my work? Sure. So this lady came in, she bought a scarf. Comes back, she's like, excuse me, I need to return this. I'm like, okay, so do you have the takes and the receipt? She's like, no. I'm like, what's wrong with it? It's a, it's a hazard. I'm like, sorry, what? what? She's like, I tripped on it, so it's a hazard, and I can't wear this. I could, I tripped on it. I was are like, what are you saying to me right now? How did she and trip I, on okay, it? So I'm looking at her, I'm trying not to laugh at her face, and I was like, girl, do you understand what's coming in your mouth right now? Like, so she's like, I can't wear it. I'm like, sorry, since it's been worn, I cannot resell this. And there's obviously nothing wrong with the quality of like the oh, material, sure whatever, stuff like that. So like, I can't take this back. Like, that's like something we can't do. She was like, I, I tripped on it. What am I supposed to do with it now? I'm like, oh not wearing it. Give it to someone else. Part of the notification squad. Madeline, are you part of it? Oh, I should do that. It's a good really? idea. Really? You're I not even part of it. I go on YouTube every day and I look for a video. Wait, you don't have a channel at all? Like, I, like mm -hmm. you don't subscribe to anyone? Oh, I subscribe to you. Oh, thanks. What's your craziest experience at a theme park? Do you like rides? 
Yeah, Seattle Lake Drive. Land. Okay, so we went, once we went to Marine Land, which I don't even know if oh. that still exists. It does. We were supposed to go to it this year, we never did. Everyone loves Marine yeah, Land. Yeah, no, okay, if you're someone from the States that wants to go to Marine Land, I don't recommend going. There's not a lot there. No, it's very run down. I don't really like watching animals do tricks and stuff. Like, I'm not about that. But they have this upside down life. roller coaster. It's like the oldest roller coaster or something. I don't know. You go on this stupid roller coaster. And I was, yeah, I was with Joseph. And I was so terrified. Oh, yeah, true. I was so terrified because I hate roller coasters and I don't like going upside down. So I literally took off everything. I had no glasses. I took off all my jewelry. I basically was just like blind. So I'm on this roller coaster blind. So I had no idea when it was going to go upside down because I couldn't see. So I didn't even know when we were upside down. So that was like the, my first time ever going upside down roller coaster. And I think that's why I'm so scarred to go on roller coasters now. Remember that time I went to the c &E and there was no one there. My dad bought us wristbands. So when you have a wristband, you can go on the ride as much as you want. Since there was no one there, we go on this one ride. It's like a water ride. It's called Nagar Falls. We're on this ride. And since no one's on it, the guy was like, do you want to go on it again? We're like, sure. So we go on it again. And then he's like, oh, let's go on it again. So after five times, he's not letting us off the ride. He and had a then crush he, on Yeah. Me. He thought Madeline and Joseph were dating. So he's like, oh, you guys should like go closer together and touch each other. <laughs> he's so weird. You remember how weird he was? <laughs> and then, I don't know, he was just acting so weird. And he wouldn't let us off the ride. We rode it like eight times. And then I had to the actually have to force myself off the ride, otherwise he wasn't gonna let, let us me off. off. We just went to Shoppers, and Madeline's gonna do a little <laughs> mega pole. Okay, so I got the best face wash. I like that face wash it's too. It's really like good. It like, literally has nothing in it. It's like all good stuff. I also got my favorite mascara because I needed a new one. Cat Eye by Maybelline, best one. And then I really wanted to try the Hula Bronzer, so I got a little travel size mini one. Um, let's see how that works. The color of it. I feel like this will last me because I don't wear that much makeup, so. And then I got this lip gloss that I'm oh, gonna yeah, try. I just lost it. But I don't like it. I've tried this before. Me and Maria both tried it. It's good. Not that color. Yeah. I, like I think I, I have like that, that color. I'm gonna yeah. buy that one. I like lip gloss. Like I like. Yeah. I don't I like wearing lip lipstick. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, lipstick sometimes like too thick. Wow, I'm close to the camera. It tastes like creme brulee. <laughs> what? What's the name? Yeah. What's the name? Oh, it oh is? I don't know if I like that. You don't like the color or the taste? No, I kind of like the color. It's very like I subtle. Like it. It's I subtle. Yeah. I think when you're paler, it's gonna like be more stand out too. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm tan right now. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Ready? Oh, thank fuck. goodness for that, man. That speed bump's the worst. Remember when the pussycat dolls were a thing? Mm hmm. Okay, we're good. Loosen up my buttons, babe. Uh huh. Remember they had that show, <laughs> Searching for the Neck Doll? Yes, oh my god. I was obsessed with that show. It's, it's funny, I used to watch those shows when I was younger. Now I'm thinking back, those shows were like so not appropriate for kids. Oh yeah. And like, I used to watch The Bachelorette when I was in grade two. I know, me too, my me mom. Me and my friend used to be obsessed with it. My mom would be like, Julian, you're in grade two. Why are you watching that? I used to love it. And me and like, my friend used to be at school like, oh my gosh, do you think he's going to pick that girl? Okay, well, Holmes, I guess we'll end the video here. This driving with Juliana was a little less random this time. Because I had someone to talk to. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to do my outro? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's see how well she knows my outro. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in my next vlog. <laughs> There's the action. Thanks for watching, Watch guys. It. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. And if you have any discussions that you want us to discuss in the next Drive with Juliana, or just myself to discuss, let me know. Because maybe I'll do more Drive with Juliana discussing rather than random topics. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.